Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mr. Tie-Dye. Thank you guys for all the liking and commenting you're doing on my videos and the donations to my PayPal account. It really helps keep me going on making these videos. So anyways, today I've had a lot of requests for Halloween design since we have Halloween coming up. So I'm going to do a jack-o'-lantern today. So I'm starting on a t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash. It's been spun out so it's barely damp. And then I've centered the T so that I'm working on just the front. And this here's the back, the back here. So what we're going to do, I've drawn my jack-o'-lantern on here already. So what I'm going to do is start folding. I'm going to fold the outer circle first. And then we're going to tie up the stem here, get that worked in. And then I'll tie up the rest of the face. So we're just going to do little tiny accordion folds on this here. So I'm going to start up here at the top. And I'm doing maybe a quarter to a half inch uh, pleats here. So we're just going to pleat this all the way down. And the main thing when you're doing your pleats is trying to line them up straight on here. And I try to make sure that I'm going up and down where I'm going straight down and not having my line go off to the side one way or the other. And that just helps me keep going in a straight line here keep everything lined up where it should be so and then a couple more I think I'm gonna do a ghost and a black cat and then I also had a request for a bat and a spider web and those ones I'll probably do as a stitch design for but we'll at least do a few of them folded here so that you guys can get ready for Halloween. Okay, so once I have that tied up there, or folded up, I'm going to tie it with some kite string here. And I do have a video on how I use the kite string, so I'll put a link to that down in the description box. And then I'm going to tie this off up here towards the top, right next to the stem, because we're going to fold that up next. So I'm going to tie this, but I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to leave this string attached, and it's tied off right here at the top, right next to the stem here. So with that still tied, now I'm going to go ahead and fold the stem, and the stem is something that I drew on both sides of the t-shirt. So you can use a light board, you just hold it up to the light and you can draw that on there. Or if you have a stencil, you just flip it onto the back side. But the stem is something you want to make sure you have drawn on both sides so that you keep the color separate here. So as I'm folding this up, it's kind of going right into the rest of the pumpkin here. So I'm just making sure I can see my line and then I'm going to wrap this string under and then in between. So let's zoom in just a little bit here. So I got it wrapped up around the stem up here at the top and then in between the pumpkin and the stem. So I'm going to wrap that a couple times around there and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it right right down the stem a little bit just to try to keep that pulled back away because we're gonna to want to have the separation in here in between there when we put the dies on we don't want the, the colors to to blend there because I'll be using orange on one and green on the other so just make sure that when you tie this that you do have that separation there and when we do the rest of the tie up we'll make sure I'm going to tie that up and leave that big gap there but I can see my stem line right here and then on the back side I can see most of it but I'm going to draw the rest of it in there So that way I know exactly where I'm going to be putting 
my green at and of course I'll also outline it in the the black like I usually do okay so once you got that the stem and the pumpkin tied up then the next thing I'm gonna do is the mouth and I didn't do a really fancy one with the jagged teeth in there let's zoom back out I just did kind of just a basic one you can try to get fancy if you want to uh, for those I usually will do a stitch design so what I'm doing is just kind of starting up here at the the mouth the the crook of the mouth here and just kind of lining these up on both sides here so that I can fold this all up together and the nice thing is if you don't get this folded up nice and perfect then you will have a little bit of a jagged mouth going on for your pumpkin so it's kind of a win-win there so I'm just going to accordion fold this but I instead of having it flat it's going to be sticking up above the pumpkin here and it's just a matter of lining both sides of the mouth up so that they're kind of running right in the same line there it might take some finagling of the fabric but just kind of take your time and work it down and just make sure that you have about the same gap on the line on both sides of the t-shirt here as you fold it in there Okay. So once I have that done up, then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my kite string, and for this one, I'll usually tie a little bit of a loop so that I can get that wrapped around the mouth and tightened up how I want it. Make sure my pleats are standing how I want them. And you want to make sure you don't bunch this up too much here because you want your die to get in there. So I'm trying to sort out my accordion folds here. So everything's kind of laying flat there and then I'm just going to wrap around this here just a little bit just to gather things up and then we're just going to tie that off Okay, so there's the mouth now, and I'm going to pull the rest of this fabric out of there and just kind of make sure that I'm not pulling the mouth out on either side here, but I'm just kind of pulling right up to the edge of that kite string because the rest of this we're going to dye it in the orange. Okay, so now for the eyeball, that's the next one I'm going to do. So I'm just kind of pushing the eye up here and then I'm going to fold it in half so it's just a matter of lining this up once again so the point on one side and then the bottom part I'm just making sure that's all nice and even and then we can lay that down flat here so now we have half of the eyeball right there so I'm gonna do accordion folds on it and just do little tiny ones the main thing is I want to have this this run here end with this the end of the mouth go, being on the downward side here so that I can kind of flip the other part because we're going around a tight corner here and I just find it easier to kind of flip this part up here so I kind of poke that down like I think that's about 45 degrees there or 35 degrees whatever fold that up and then you can kind of twist it around until your line is kind of most of the way lined up there. I don't know if you can see that on the video. 
and then just fold the rest of the way up there. That's the hardest part is getting around that corner. But with some practice you can get it. I know I make it look easy but I've been doing this for 19 years so just need some practice and you'll get it down. The nice thing is when you're doing the jack-o-lantern if it's just a little bit crazy it's not too bad because then it just looks like you have some crazy eyes going on. So I'm going to tie that off and then we'll do the nose next. Okay, now the nose is going to be the same type of deal here. So I'm going to pull this fabric out from where the eye is because we once again we folded that in half. So I like to just kind of pull that and make sure that I bring it right up to my line here but not pull any of the eyeball out. So that's kind of nice and flat right there. Okay, now I got the nose here, so I just try to kind of lay that out as flat as I can so I can fold the whole nose. And once again, I'm going to fold this bottom part first, and this last bit of the nose, I want that on the downward side. So if you just have to make one of your folds a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, just to get that on the right side. And then that just allows you to take this next line and fold it up and around and like I say you have to twist the t-shirt the just a little bit but the t-shirt's pretty malleable so it'll fold where you want it to and these are much smaller these here maybe a little bit more than a quarter inch whenever I'm doing smaller areas then of course I do smaller folds okay So we got the nose tied up here, so now we're going to wrap it with kite string. So now there's my jack-o-lantern. So up the back I'm going to do just a little bit of a spine up here just because uh, I like to dress up the tees a little bit. And I do have a spine video. I'll put a link to that in the description box here. The rest of the t-shirt we're just going to scrunch. Since I have the two sleeves tucked inside each other, I'm just going to scrunch those up right in their own armhole here. Now this is the part that we want to make sure that we keep this little nub. This here is the, the stem of the jack-o-lantern, so I'm going to run my kite string up in between there and then tie that back up this way. So what that's going to do is just help hold a little bit of space right in there. There's the jack-o-lantern tee with a spine up the back. So I'm going to get some gloves on and then I'll be back to dye this in just a minute. Okay, I'm back now to dye the pumpkin. So I've got my gloves on, i got my dyes. So what I'm going to start with is the face pieces here. Um, 
since these two here are poking up I have to dye those kind of sideways here so it's easiest to do those first so you can just kind of flip the tea around without dye getting everywhere so let's zoom in just a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing so I'm using my thick black dye here and I do have a video on how I make the thick black dye it just allows me to do an outline without the dye spreading too much but because it doesn't soak in much on its own you have to kind of press it in so I use a cuticle pusher for that and I'll usually just kind of apply a couple coats after each one I press it in and that'll give me a nice thin line around the eye so I'm just outlining the eyes and the nose and the mouth with the black and then I'm gonna dye them yellow so that they glow like they're on fire or a fire inside so to speak so but you can just go ahead and just dye them yellow you don't have to outline them I just prefer to flip this back over and get this other side dyed so on on the the nose there's only one layer well two because it's folded in half but for the, the mouth and the eyeball, there's more layers there just because I folded both of those in half again. So I applied two coats of the thick black dye to those. But this here should be good with just one layer. And then the same thing with the stem here. So I'm going to dye the outline now. So I'm just going to run up this here, that same line and up the stem okay and then I make sure that when I lay this down that this here is out it doesn't yeah so this nose here is out so it doesn't fold underneath and get the dye flopping around in other places now we're gonna dye the stem in green Dye the eyes, nose, and mouth with yellow. And this is just my personal choice. You can dye these in whatever color you like. If you want orange or red in there, will stand out. Or you could dye them solid black, and that'll stand out nicely too. So that's just kind of a personal choice how you want to dye your pumpkin or jack o' lantern. So I'm going to flip this around so I can dye the other side of everything. So what I usually like to do is dye, when I'm doing a big area like this, I'll leave a little bit of a white gap there just so that the dye doesn't want to just immediately spread right under that line. And then I'll come back and touch it up later. On these other parts here, I'll just dye right up to the line because they have already have yellow dye on there so that should help hold that dye back and I'm doing the same thing on this side I'm leaving a white line a white gap there and I'll do the same on the back side and that just helps the dyes not clash too much wanting to mix and spread together if you just let them spread on their own you give them a little bit of space there then you can dye the rest of the t-shirt here 
and let's see so on this spine I think that's what I'll dye next and we're gonna go with a few different colors on it carefully flip this over and what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of a barrier underneath this other side so that I don't have to worry about this all of the eyeballs and stuff running into other things so I'm just kind of setting that up on a barrier keep it up off of the table so as I move this around and now my colors that I had I did in this order here so I started with green on the end yellow then orange then black so what I'm going to do now is shift all of the colors down one space and I also made sure that I put like the green and yellow together here and I put the orange and yellow together so those colors there aren't going to blend and make a, a weird color combination on me so it's just a matter of thinking ahead when you're putting your colors on. And you can also look at a color wheel and that will kind of help you figure out what colors you can lay next to e next to each other and that will that blend nicely together. point now I can go ahead and touch up this line here I can see that the orange has spread almost all the way to the black line there so what I'm going to do is just kind of touch up just a little bit of the green right next to the black line there and right next to the purple here just so that those colors touch evenly touch up just a little bit with the orange where I can see just a couple little white spots but that orange should now all stay on its own side there. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So yeah, the orange did pretty good. It spread most of the way on its own. And I'll just touch up just a little bit right next to the line. And now I'm going to put a little bit of black over top. So I just, I saturate good with the purple and then I just kind of lightly go over top with the black. Do the same thing on this side. And then this is going to batch for 48 hours and then I'll wash it out and have the results for you. Thank you for watching. Please like and share my videos where they're allowed.